or main hazards that our, our crews are seeing when they're out there on the line is, is the danger tree potential. My name's Ian Berglund. I'm the safety officer with IMT number two on the North Peace complex uh, in the Fort Nelson zone. We're seeing a lot of tree failure and a lot of defects in the trees, which are causing you know fire to get inside and burn out the trees and fall over, as well as the rooting systems. My name is Cole St. Jean. I'm up in the North Peace complex up by Fort Nelson. And my position here is danger tree specialist. The main issue that we're having on this particular incident with the drought that has been seen in this area is the rooting systems. What's happening is the drought is uh, allowing the fire to burn quite deep in lots of areas and it's causing massive amounts of root failure in all species of trees, even those that are resistant to a lot of the, the ground burns, like the aspen and the cottonwoods. They generally will have enough moisture in the rooting systems that they won't be as affected with the ground burn. But because of the drought conditions, all species, the roots are burning off and we're having failures in large amounts in large areas. My name is Eric Kopetsky. I'm a fire behavior analyst in the North Peace Complex. Up here in the, in the northeast part of the province, we're in the midst of a multi-year drought. And the effects that we're seeing on the ground are, are quite severe. And what we're seeing here as the fire kind of comes through here, the fire is really able to dig in very deep. So we have lots of fuels that are below the surface. And up in this part of the province, in this type of forest, we have a very deep soil layer with lots of organic material that is able to burn. And this trench we see behind me is an example of how deep this fire can burn. So the crews had to dig down uh, this far just to extinguish all of the heat and, and get rid of all the fire that was in uh, this part of the fire. So uh, this is causing us uh, a lot more time to fully extinguish the fire than we would normally would have and exposing our crews to more risk from trees whose roots are burnt out and are at risk of falling. So normally in this area at this time of year we would have water in parts of the soil so the fire would not be able to dig down and, and burn this deep and because of this drought and the severity of it we're seeing some exceptionally deep burning that's making it very difficult and time consuming and dangerous to extinguish. As you can see there's a lot of work and you can imagine trying to make your way through this type of stand like there's lots of hazards lots of chain reactions it's, it's a slow slow process because hazards must be identified assessed and then risk managed to based on whether it's worth it to even go in there. But it, it takes a long time for all the hazards to be mitigated before crews can actually start putting water to the ground and, and working safely. 